ARIS is a program called Amateur Radio on the International Space Station. It allows the opportunity for students in schools to talk to the astronauts. We were talking to an astronaut on the ISS. His name was Joseph Akaba. Who is a NASA astronaut and he's one of the six astronauts on board the International Space Station at the moment. So we asked him a few questions and we had a whole setup outside in the car park of the school. So there's all radio antennas, all, and then we had a YouTube live stream with any other people that wanted to listen in. Part of the project, we had to link up with an international school, which was in Romania. As the ISS was approaching over um, Ireland, coming from the Atlantic Ocean, we had to send up radio signals and try to pick them up. We're just really lucky to have been chosen out of all the students here, and we just really appreciate it. And it's not like an everyday thing that you can say that you talked to an astronaut. We all got two questions in because 20 questions got answered. My first one was more technical, it was about how augmented reality could be used to save time on the ISS. And my second question was it was difficult to sleep in space because if there's no gravity and you'd be floating all the time. Well it all started about two years ago and this time it was kind of unique because we shared the contact with the space station with a school in Romania. Uh, GCC, it's very enthusiastic with science subjects. We were very excited that uh, GCC was chosen. I thought it was fairly surreal when I saw people coming from papers and radios and TV coming over to talk to me. I really realised then how important the event was. And we were very fortunate because you can imagine there are a lot of schools all over the world that want to get involved in this. It was very exciting, I mean, to see the enthusiasm of the students and to actually to listen to a number of students speaking to astronauts in space, it was, it was inspiring and humbling in many senses as well.